Hi, my name is Jeremy Cook. Today I'll be talking about my polycarbonate star, Christmas tree star. Now this star started out as an idea and I drew it in uh, draft site, which is pretty much like AutoCAD. It uh, made a five star sided polygon and traced everything out and to make the star uh, points. Um, you can see me cutting out some polycarbonate that I had from another project, um, cutting out of my CNC router. Uh, I didn't go quite deep enough, so here I am just kind of cutting out with the file. Looks pretty good. Um, had to take off the holding tabs, which I guess I didn't need if I wasn't going to cut it all the way through. Now the thing is designed kind of like um, kind of like a throw if you've seen those. So what you do, you put a CR2032 battery in it, put the uh, LEDs around it, and um, it lights up just like that. Now you can see earlier I had to actually cut it out a little bit with my Dremel tool because I didn't make it quite wide enough. Um, here I'm cutting out the second second side of the star, and when combined, they look uh, look pretty cool, green and white. I could change that up if I wanted to, and maybe I will. Um, but after that was done, instead of attaching it with the glue or something, what I wanted to do was use use screws. And what I did, I used uh, 832 machine screws. They were uh, low head screws, so I put a countersink in it so they wouldn't like stick out. So what I'm doing here, I'm making a little jig for it. Um, made out of the, you know, what I cut it out of it. Worked worked well enough for my purposes. And here I am setting it up, just uh, kind of estimating the center of the hole. Because I had it I cut out on the CNC router, but since I didn't have a um, cut both sides, I had to kind of, you know, do this, do this manually, which was okay. So there I am cutting the hole for the, for the screw. And I guess I could have done this in one step, but I uh, actually did the kind of center of the screw on the on one side and then turned it over and cut the uh, the clearance hole for it on the other. That was probably the right thing to do because it allowed me to line everything up for the, uh, the counter, counter board that I would put in later for the low head screw. I tried a quarter inch uh, end mill first, but I found that didn't work and I had to use a 5 16 So there I am, I'm, I'm zeroing it. Um, just plunging it down as far as I needed to. I think it was 80 thousandths of an inch. Um, not that you need to know that. I guess you can figure it out if you're going to do this yourself. But you see here it didn't quite fit. Um, you know, maybe I should have looked it up in the machinist's handbook, machinery's handbook, but sometimes I just do, do things. Um, yeah, so I did that. And what do you know it did? It fits, as you'll see in just a second. There it is. It's flush with the, uh, the surface, which is awesome. And then it was onto the other holes, which I won't show you that. But um, then this is the second, the second one. I actually cut this out so I could tap it with a tap. So there I am right now. So one side's tapped, one side's clearance with a counter bore. This means that uh, you can slide the slide the bolts in and then screw them in, as you see here. So there I am putting it in, combining it, looks good, and then uh, put the screws in, tighten it down with an Allen key, and, and it looks, looks pretty good. And you'll see me put it on top of our tree in just a second. See, I think, I keep thinking maybe I'll substitute in red for the uh, green, but it looks pretty good for now. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please uh, like it, subscribe, or uh, even leave a comment if you want. Have a Merry Christmas and uh, Happy Holidays.